Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn Excel 2.4. If you didn't watch my previous videos, the link is in the description. Watch it. Bit number one. State which of the following sets are empty sets and which are not. First question. The set of lines passing through a given point. Given point. Only one point is there. Set of lines passing. Now, based on this single point, how many lines can pass? Infinite number of lines can be passed. Then he is asking whether it is empty set or not. Infinite number of lines can pass. So, it is compulsory non-empty set. Next, second one. Set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2. So, one odd number I am taking 3. I will divide by 2. 2 ones are 2, 3 minus 2, 1 is the remainder. So, any odd number if we divide by 2, uh, definitely it leaves the remainder 1. But it is not at all divisible by 2. So, no odd number is there which is divisible by 2 exactly. So, it is an empty set because odd numbers won't divisible by 2. Next, x such that x is a natural number x less than 5 and x greater than 7 x less than 5 and he said about natural numbers so 1 2 3 4 x less than 5 and x greater than 7 if we take greater than 7 8 9 10 11 12 and so on here if you observe clearly he is saying that x is a some number i mean natural number where that x is less than 5 as well as greater than 7. But if we observe these numbers, these are less than 5. These all are greater than 7. So in these two, no element is common. It means no natural number is there which is less than 5 but as well as greater than 7. So it is an empty set. Okay, next question. X such that X is a common point to any two parallel lines. If we draw parallel lines, common point, for example, if I am keeping some point here, two lines are not touching with that point. If I keep one point here, only the above line is touching that point point but below line is not touching that point if i keep one point somewhere here only the below line is touching this point but not the above line so we can conclude one thing that is parallel lines doesn't have any common point so that's why this is an empty set Next one, set of even prime numbers. So, in the total prime numbers list, that is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. This is total prime numbers list. In this total prime numbers list, only one number is there which is even, that is number 2. So, even number is 2. So, here number is there, one element is there. So, it is not empty. Because one element is there. Okay, next. Move to the second bit. In the previous bit, we discussed whether it is empty set or not. But in this case, state whether the following sets are finite or infinite. Finite means countable elements should be there. Infinite, uncountable number of elements. First question. The set of months in a year... We know very well that a year contains only 12 months. So, 12 is a countable thing. So, this set is finite. Next, second one. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till 100. 
here these numbers are fixed starting from 1 to 100 so we can say clearly only 100 numbers are there so this is finite set next one set of prime numbers smaller than 99 prime number sets if i write 2 3 5 7 and so on till smaller than 99 he said so smaller than 99 now till 100 25 prime numbers are there so we can say fixed number 25 prime numbers are there or 10 prime numbers are there or 20 prime numbers are there like that so this will become finite next question the set of letters in the english alphabet in the english alphabet we have a b c d and so on till z so these are the set of letters in the english alphabet we can know very well that 26 letters are there so which is a countable thing so finite set the okay, next question the set of lines that can be drawn parallel to the x-axis we know very well this is y-axis and this is x-axis horizontal line is x-axis then he is asking set of lines that can be drawn parallel to x-axis this is the x-axis so this is one parallel line this is one parallel line parallel 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 so like that if you keep on drawing here 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 infinite parallel lines we can draw to the x-axis so this is infinite set next one the set of numbers which are multiples of 5 multiples of 5 is nothing but just multiplication table of 5 we need to write so the elements will be 5 1s are 5 5 2s are 10 5 3s are 15 5 4s are 20 5 5s are 25 and so on because he didn't mention multiples of 5 less than 10 or less than 100 or less than 1000 like that so infinite multiples will be there so this set is an infinite set okay let us see the last question the set of circles passing through the origin 0 comma 0 this is y axis and this is x axis where this x axis and y axis both are touching with each other that is 0 comma 0 or else it is called as origin okay now what is the question the set of circles passing through the origin this is one circle this is one circle it 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 is one more 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 circle so if we keep on drawing like this infinite number of circles we can draw which are passing through the origin so this is also an infinite set till now if you didn't subscribe to my channel subscribe for more videos thank you